Hi everyone, Angela here. Today we're going to be making a refillable fabric door stop with a Velcro closure. You'll need a third of a yard of fabric, six inches of one inch wide cotton tape or ribbon, seven inches of half inch wide Velcro, one side with the hooks and one side with the loops, fabric scissors, chalk or a marking pen, a cutting blade, a ruler, two sheets of letter size paper, a pen or a marker, some tape, a couple of handfuls of batting that's optional and for the filler I've got about four and a half pounds of small pebbles. You could use cat litter or wash sand, you could also use rice or beans but just keep in mind that might attract bugs and lastly just a couple of pins. To make the pattern first tape the longer sides of the paper together then fold it in half along that seam and press. Mark five inches from the fold along the bottom and top of your paper. Place your ruler along those marks and cut. On the bottom, mark three and a half inches from the fold and then mark one and a half inches straight up from that mark. On the outer edge, mark up one and three quarter inches, then join all those marks. At the top, mark three inches in from the fold, join that mark to the one on the side and then cut out your pattern. Turn your pattern around and mark in one inch from the outer edge and cut out a little notch there and also cut out a little notch on that center fold. When you open up your pattern, you should have three notches along the top. Draw your grain line down the center and label the bottom and top of your pattern and that you'll have to cut out two fabric pieces. Now for your fabric, if it has a pattern, make sure the bottom of the pattern is facing you and then put right sides together. Place your pattern down on the fabric, making sure that the grain line is along the lengthwise grain or parallel to the selvage edge. Now chalk around your pattern or you can use a marking pen. But because it doesn't show up very well on the fabric on camera, I'm just going to use my black Sharpie. Now you can completely skip this step if you want to just use a rotary blade or pin your pattern to the fabric and cut out that way. Next, mark your three notches at the top, pin your fabric together at the corners, and then cut out your two fabric pieces. For your notches at the top, snip your fabric about an eighth of an inch. Remove your pins and go over to the ironing board. Separate your pieces so that you have one side with the right side up and the other with the wrong side facing up. Next we're going to turn up and press a quarter of an inch all along the bottom edges. Fold your cotton tape in half matching the short edges together and then just place it onto the right side of the fabric centering it onto that middle notch and just do a few stitches to hold it in place. And now just turn it around to attach the velcro to the bottom. With that folded edge up and facing you, place one of the pieces of velcro along that fold. You want to have just a little bit of fabric showing underneath that velcro. Stitch about an eighth of an inch in from the edge, back tacking at the start and finish of your stitch line. Go back and stitch the other side of the velcro. Now stitch the other piece of velcro onto the second fabric piece. Flip that piece over so that right sides are facing up. Connect the velcro so that it's just overlapping half an inch. Now place right sides together matching all the edges along the three sides. Starting at the bottom and using a half an inch seam allowance, start by back tacking and stitch along one side. Stop when you get to half an inch from the top, have your needle down, lift your presser foot and pivot stitch along that top edge, pivot again at the next corner, and then stitch down the other side and back tack to finish. Now open out those bottom corners and pull on the fabric till both layers sit flat. Turn it around and open up that side seam. The middle of that seam should match the middle of the Velcro pieces. With the edges matching, stitch that seam closed with a half inch seam allowance, back tacking at the start and finish of your stitch line. 
and just repeat for the other corner. The final bit of stitching we have to do is at the top. Fold the sides towards the center right at the notch matching the top edge. We're going to stitch right on the existing stitch line starting with a back tack. Fold the other side at the notch towards the center and stitch right to the end and back tack. And there you have it, the sewing is complete. To turn it right side out, pull apart the Velcro and then push the fabric through and poke out those bottom corners. At the top, just pull apart those pleats and they'll lay nice and flat. And finally, you just need to fill it with whatever you like. I'm going to fill that top part with a couple of handfuls of batting. And then the rest of it with my bag of little pebbles. Tightly close the Velcro opening and it's ready for use. Thanks again for watching. Please make sure to like, share, comment, subscribe and hit that notification bell and I'll see you next time.